Hey everybody, we're here with Chauncey Welliver, uh, world champion boxer. All right, I, so tell me, tell me about that. Uh, just, you know, I, I, I got hit in the face and actually I was apparently good at it. So there we go. Oh. Like, <laughs> and I got to hit people back. It was the best Hilliard conversation ever. So you agreed to be here as long as you could punch me in the That's gut. Was that the, your- The only way I'm doing this. All right, Chauncey, thanks for coming in today. So world champion. Uh, yeah, so it was, it was many years ago. Obviously, I put on a little couple pounds since then, but yeah, former world boxing champion, the only, the only one from Spokane, so I feel honored to be able to... Oh, I feel to, honored to interview. That's <laughs> thank awesome. Thank you, thank you. So tell us about yourself. You're the owner of BoxFit. I own BoxFit. I'm the box part of BoxFit. I'm definitely <laughs> not the fit part. I didn't, I didn't get to be that part of it. But no, we, uh, so we, uh, over at BoxFit, we're located across from the old Sears at Northtown. We're at uh, 126 East Wellesley. Um, we've kind of traveled around. We've been we've been to Hilliard. We were over on Division, but now I think we found our home. Uh, you know, we're, we're before we we're kind of looking for the housewife that wanted to come in and get a workout, and, and then it slowly started turning into we're just working with the kids, not just working with the kids. You know, we we have other classes, but it's really turned predominantly into working with the kids and the youth and kind of getting them off the street, keeping them out of trouble. You know, giving them a little structure, a little bit of a fatherly figure. So, how'd you get involved in that? You know, um, so originally I started off, as I was saying, at BoxFit as, as a business. I wanted to do what everybody does, and I wanted to make some money. I had a fighter win nationals. The U.S. championships mm -hmm. for boxing were in Spokane. And I said, you know what? Let's enter it. I have this fighter. Let's enter nationals. We're, it's here. We don't have to pay anything to go to it. Like, if you lose, you lost at nationals. He goes on, and he wins the national championship. First spoken night wow. in 51 years to do so. So I started just having droves of people come in, you know, and kids and things like that. And it turned into something that I wanted to create for myself, selfishly, I wanted to create another champion. But also I wanted to help take this kid, you know, to Vegas, you know, to, or, or to Rio or to Tokyo, you know, or, or to wherever, you know, I wanted to make an Olympic champion. I wanted to be a part of their journey. You know, so to be able to help these kids was what was a huge thing. Keep them off the street, give them that little bit of structure. And I got to be a part of, you know, somebody's life. And, you know, 20 years from now, they're going to be like, oh, Coach Chauncey. And I got to be that guy for a little while. So what are some other things you've been doing to help youth? I know, because that's your passion, right? That is. Is, is youth that's in Spokane. Are... Ab absolutely my passion. So one, w one thing we do, you know, I mean, we, we go out. Uh, we do community service. You know, we go out. You know, we'll put a, a shout out on Facebook and say, hey, does your grandma need her yard raked? You know, do you need your her pool cleaned? You know, do you need whatever, whatever, whatever? And we go out and we, and we do that. We haven't been doing it as much through the, the times, you know, but it's it, it's something that's beautiful. And I think it builds, it, it, it turns those those children into grownups, you know, if, if, if not physically, at least mentally. It's been a great program. We've had, you know, I, I've had the honor of having kids come in and I watch them graduate. I see them go to college and, and that's, that's a beautiful thing for me to, you know, to at least have been, like I said, a little blip on their radar, you know, to, to be in their story at the end of their days. Yeah, well, that's absolutely huge. So how this whole crisis, I mean, this is how even this was birthed, yeah. is it's caused people to innovate and do positive things in different ways. What are some things that you guys have been able to do? Because you've had to change like instantly. We did, How have yeah. you guys changed and what are some of the things you've done as a team? So uh, uh, as a team, we've actually kind of been put on pause. We keep in contact with each other via Facebook and I'll say, okay, I need you to work on this. And, and then so, some of the kids I'll watch on video. Some I'll make house calls, you know, because I can't have big groups of people. So I'll make house calls and I'll do mitts with them because it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to help a lot of them one-on-one, -on -one, the ones that ask. You know, um, so if any of them are watching this, hopefully they, they start asking the ones that ain't. Uh, we own an ice cream truck, Lem's Pops. My little daughter started a, started a company at four years old. So that was a beautiful thing. So uh, earlier this week, we got to go out and hand out chocolate bunnies. And we, we just pull up to stores and hand them out to parents and kids that wanted to get them. Obviously, the social distancing was a bit tricky, but we were able to pull it off. So a lot of these kids, they don't get to see other kids, you know, for, for weeks. That, that's the one thing that I've realized with my six-year-old daughter is that she doesn't get to play with her friends. She doesn't get to be around kids at school. You know, so for her to be able to be around kids, if only for a second, was it, it, made, it made me feel good. It made me feel good being able to give all the kids chocolates, which, and that wasn't, that, that was my, my wife and my daughter uh, and Rick Clark are giving backpacks and, you know, uh, uh, another company that gave the rabbits. So it was, it was a beautiful thing. But the response is crazy. We, we yeah. had uh, Rick on our first episode, uh -huh. which actually would have been before this. And 
he still every single day has been yeah. able to take one business and one nonprofit, exactly. and there's still that much support. What what else have you seen in Spokane that's been just awesome? You see people doing good, you know, be it you know donating to fundraisers. What Rick does in in, in going and buying food from local business and giving it to locals. I mean that that's a beautiful thing. What what he does with giving backpacks. Him and his whole crew are just amazing. And also the people donating, they get to feel good that they got to contribute. It wasn't you know it was it wasn't just one person doing it. It was a team effort. Yep. So when, so when they get to see Rick go out and be on the front line and giving these backpacks out, you know, and delivering the food, they get to feel a part of it. Even though they're not right there physically, they're, they, they're a part of it. Yeah. There's blessings that Rick is giving to all the people that get to donate five or ten dollars. Like they have that platform. Exactly. They have that motivation to do something on their own. Like he says, he gets called all the time. Yeah. Like, hey, I have this great idea. You should do it. And Rick's like... You should do that. Exactly. And, you know, and, and a lot of people don't know how to go about it. Mm -hmm. Or some people feel cheesy, like, well, it's only five bucks. Well, those add up. Yeah. You know, and Rick puts that pot together, then they go start giving it out. And it's a beautiful thing. You know, I, I mean, seeing, you know, seeing what he did, bringing our community together, you know, seeing the likes on Facebook and the watch and seeing the money raised is beautiful. And it goes to show our our, our town. We stick together, you know. I mean, we're, there's definitely a big, we're we're a big family here, and we realize that. And I think slowly but surely, I don't think it started off like this. I think everybody's starting to realize we're in this together. Yep. You're not any better than I am right now. We're all in this, you know, in this bad situation. <laughs> okay, I agreed to take a punch, so this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So go ahead. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Many oh, your word. Oh, Many yeah. your word. <laughs> that didn't hurt. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yep. Okay. <sighs> Thank you, uh, Chauncey, for everything you do in the community. Thanks for being one of the people that are shedding light in these really dark times. And thanks for everything you're doing for the kids. Thank you. Together, we're gonna knock out the coronavirus. Check out Community Positive, a TV show dedicated to promoting positivity. Each week, we highlight business owners and community leaders doing incredible things in the Spokane community. Saturday and Sunday at 6 on Fox 28.